Okay, we're going to get ready to sew our arcs together. We're going to take simply the, the first two off the top. To start our arcs, we want to sew those two edges together. Right now, the curves of the arc are so gentle that they're almost not there. One thing you want to make sure of is that you use an accurate quarter inch seam line. And we're just going to sew these patches together. We've got our first one. Then we pick up our next one. And those two seams go together. As you sew the bigger patches together, when we get to the end of the arc, the curve will become a little bit more noticeable and you can finger hold those curves together. There's really no need to pin. I'm not clipping threads or anything so we can get through this. Normally I would clip those little threads off and make them go away. Just sewing our patches together, and this will make an arc. These arcs sew together very quickly. I'm getting to where I can see a little bit of a curve. The bottom patch is concave, and the top patch is convex. So we want to make sure we just pull that top one over just a little bit so we can match those curves. You see the top curve goes this way, the bottom curve goes this way. I start with them together. Put a few stitches in. Then I can take my fingers and just move that bottom patch to match that top curve. You can use pins if you'd like. Our arc is coming together very nicely. Move to the next patch and sew these together. Our curve is becoming a little bit more pronounced, so we want to make sure we match those edges. I'm sewing on a Juki TL98Q. It's a straight stitch machine. It also does awesome free motion quilting. And I love the cutter button. Put a few stitches in. Take your fingers, match those little curves up. You want to curve that bottom piece to the top piece. Really doesn't take much more than holding it. Just a few more to go, and we'll have one arc completed. The way you make your stacks with the points, mark top point, all going the same direction, makes it much easier to pick up each patch as you're adding it. If you look at them, you can tell they almost look like arrowheads. There's the top point and our little inner curve, and it almost looks like an arrowhead. We want to match that up there. I find it easier to sew with the arc on top and the patch on the bottom that I'm adding to the row.
once again I'm going to bring those edges together just hold them with my fingers and we're almost done with our art This very last patch, to get it to match, we're going to offset it just a little bit to where this top piece meets the bottom piece, just down a little bit. That way we make sure that our seam is accurate and they cross each other right at the quarter inch mark. stitches in, hold those curves together with your fingers, as you can see the curves are so gentle on this that they're not scary at all. And that's how quickly one full arc goes together. What I'll do now when I go to press it, I will press the seams down on half of the arcs and up on the other arcs. What that does, every other arc, this one will go down, the next one will go up, and then the next one will go down. That way when you get to joining your arcs together, you'll have seams that nestle and your points will match.